Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today, we're back on the farm for episode 9 of Harm None's Farm. First order of business, as you can see in the top right corner, we have a pretty large sum of money. So, that being said, we are going to be buying some new things today in this episode, like we, you know, usually do. The first thing that I think I want to order is potentially a new vehicle to tow the trailer. We're going to have to see about this because I don't know how well this is going to work, but I think I think, I think think we need a new vehicle. So, I'm going to go into the uh, purchase section here. We're going to go to cars. And I'm thinking six-wheel drive sounds pretty good. So I think we're going to buy the Brabus Mercedes 6x6. It has 700 horsepower, which is a little bit more than our F350 has. And I think it is actually six-wheel drive. So... I'm thinking, I'm thinking this thing's pretty sick. I do actually like the color that it comes in, this garlic color. At least that's what it's called, apparently. Um, I actually think that looks really, really good. The only other color that could look good is like, ooh, silver looks all right, actually. But white metallic, that looks more silver to me. Maybe I'm blind. How about matte white? Matte white actually looks pretty pretty sick and it'll match with our Range Rover. So we're going to buy this thing. $814,250. This is I think the single biggest purchase I've actually done in Farming Simulator. Let's do it. All right, the truck is at the store. Oof. That's a lot of money. Okay. Let's go to the store. Oh, actually, before we go to the store, this thing needs unloading. The other harvester has just finished uh, harvesting the other field. So uh this one is still, you know, slowly working its way um, on this field so we gotta we gotta keep him going so we're gonna just unload him here real quick and then we're gonna go and pick up our new brabus six by six all right let's go see our new six by six Oof! it sounds crazy and i do believe it is actually six wheel drive this thing is not very fast, but it feels like it has an absolute ton of torque. So I think that's going to be pretty helpful for uh, for towing our trailer. And it stops very, very quickly when I let go of the accelerator, which is a bit odd. But uh, yeah, oh well. Holy, it decelerates fast. I think that this thing is actually based off of a tractor so that they could actually make it six-wheel drive. So I think that's why it stops so quick is because tractors usually stop pretty fast. So I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. It does have the trailer hitch on it though, so I really don't like how this thing drives. I gotta say, I like the F-350 a lot better, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see what we can do here. All right, let's see. Okay, and took it up. All right, let's see. How does a six by six get on with this? Pretty, pretty good actually. Um, oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe not so good. Uh, all right, what is sugar beet selling for these days? $420 at the grain mill. Let's go. Super fast. The 6x6, I feel like, is not to scale. It it feels a little too small. Or maybe maybe I'm just, like, losing my mind. Um, oh, this thing does not perform very well, though. <laughs> that is the only thing that's uh, that I'm not liking about this thing too much. Oh, here we go. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We're bringing it back. Here we are. Here we are. Okay. Put that six-wheel drive to use. Let's go. All right, here we go. Now we can finally unload this and actually sell it. I feel like it's really small, but maybe it's just because the F-350's got the lift kit on it and everything. I don't, I don't really know. I think I'm right. I think that G-Class is extremely small considering the F-350 is like this big compared to it. The F-350 feels like it's to scale, whereas that, that G-Wagon does not feel like it's to scale. We're going to go drive this thing over to our uh, to our solar panel area. And once we get there, we're going to spend some more money. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, all right, all right. There we go. It does have really good brakes, I got to say that. We've got the G-Class here now. I think it's time we get some more solar panels because we got to expand our solar panel operation. Because we need more money. I mean, $13.4 million is not very much. So let's uh, let's add to our uh, to our operation here. 13. 
14. Let's go from 14 because then we have 30 in total, which is a, uh, I think it's a pretty generous amount of money. Kind of want to build a house and I just don't know where to do it. I don't know if I should do it closer to up here or if I should do it further down. Let's let's see the house in question, which I uh, want to build. This is it right here. Definitely would make more sense, I feel like, to build the house like here somewhere. Let's build the house, let's say right there. Woo, look at that. Look at that, boys. Got the new crib. Okay. Okay. This is sick looking. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. The real question is, how do we get inside here? We have to turn on the uh, the tooltips here, boys. Let's see, open door. Oh man, yo. Yo, okay. Can I open this door too? Must be able to open these garage doors, right? Pretty sure that I can. Oh, I did it. How did I, what did I, what did I click on? Did I click on this? Oh my goodness. Yo, this is sick. Oh, that's, wait. Oh, this whole thing is like the door opener. Yo, okay, okay. That is pretty sick. And then we haven't even been inside the actual house yet. Let's see. Okay, I mean, it's a little low resolution, but gotta say, looks pretty good. Got some uh, computers here, got the, got the stove burning. That fire texture is just going crazy. Holy, that looks realistic. Um, got the kitchen table here, some, uh, some rice right there. Some something or other. Okay, well, this is pretty sick. Uh, a mirror that I don't appear in, that's crazy. Oh! Okay, uh, yeah, Farm Simulator 19, um, I didn't know that was part of the house, I gotta be honest. Ah, uh, okay, uh, I was out of the bedroom, we're not gonna be spending much time in there, I don't think. And then just, uh, we just got this thing here with no railing, that's not very safe, but that's, that's fine, okay. And into here, this is, I can tell the type of guy who made this, uh, this mod, I think, pretty sick, okay. Uh, nice. Well, we got a lot of space in here, that's for sure. Uh, how do you toggle these doors? Can I close them? Okay, I can close them too. Okay, so I'm gonna close, I'm gonna close that one. We're gonna keep this one open. Let's actually go get in the G-Wagon, and, uh, we'll bring it over here, and we'll actually park it inside the house, so it doesn't have to sit out in the rain, because we don't want that. Alright, and let's, uh, bring it in. Dang, this is a huge property uh we're gonna have to just park it like the back here i think i think this seems like a pretty good spot to me let's park right there so we got the we got the house uh we're gonna close the door behind me now i think it's time to do some landscaping because i want to have an actual driveway to get to this place so all right almost almost can make it there we go okay um, I think I will park the G-Wagon right in front of this window. There we go. Seems like a good spot. Oh yeah, that's mint. Okay. Uh, we'll close the door. I'm gonna hop outside here. I think what we're gonna do next is actually buy another vehicle. Because there's an there's a vehicle that I that I got a mod for that I'm very interested in. We have to uh, I think we have to get it. And that vehicle is the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster. Now of course this thing actually has a roof on it, but it is in fact a Roadster. I think you could take it off if it was a real car. Let's uh, let's start looking at it. So we can change it to a Washington plate or an EU plate. We'll go for the Washington plate. I live pretty close to Washington, so why not? Um. Oh, okay, so you can make the spoiler, take the spoiler off if you want to. You can have the cat, okay, interesting, I don't know, I don't know about that, or that, or that. Uh, we got the standard carbon SVJ wing, we can have the LED uh, part to it. We can also make it painted. Um, I feel like the carbon looks better with the rest of the carbon that's all over the car already, so I think we're going to keep the spoiler. 
The wheel setup, of course, we can change the wheels, actually. I think these look a lot better, so we're going to go for those. For the interior color of this thing, I'm going to say we go red. Oh, yeah, that's that's clean. Oof. Oh, we can go with the yellow. That's insane. Actually, that's more orange, I guess. Uh, let's go for the red, though. The red is pretty sick. Uh, for the design color, what is that? Oh, that does the wheels? Yo. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, I want to go for a black, for sure. So we'll go for that. For the main color of the car, though. Um, oof. Oof. That looks so good. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, what else do we have here? But that. Oof. That's dirty, too. Man. Uh, what about, what about, oh, okay, interesting. That's very metallic. Ooh, man, I, dude, I don't know what color to go for here. Honestly, I feel like this looks insanely good. I think we're going to go for this, boys. Let's buy this thing. $800,000. Second $800,000 uh, vehicle we, uh, we bought today. Let's go pick this thing up. I want to see what this thing looks like. Here it is. Oof. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Oh my goodness. Oh, hold on. Loading the interior real quick here. It's in neutral, apparently. I'm not really sure how that's exactly working, but you know what? We'll take it. It's not very fast, I am, uh, I am noticing. It sounds okay, though. It doesn't sound too bad. Interesting. I wish it was a little quicker, though. This thing is, like, kind of ridiculously slow. So far, uh, so far, our two vehicle purchases today are a little bit disappointing. Um, we're gonna see how fast we can get this thing going, though, because obviously it's an SVJ. We got it. We got to try to try to get it moving. That's for sure. Like, literally, the F three fifty is faster than this thing. I don't really know what's happening right now. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll uh, we'll go the other way. Yeah, we're we're definitely gonna go this way. A few less corners this way, so. It says its top speed is 340 kilometers an hour, so I guess we'll see about that. We are moving pretty good now, though. Oh, God. Oh. Once you start going that fast, uh, this thing no longer wants to actually turn. So, bit unfortunate. Uh, oh, my God. Vehicle handling in this game is interesting. Um, well, let's bring this thing to the new house. And once we get this thing to the new house, I think we're just going to buy some more solar panels, boys, because... I mean, we got $10 million and I don't really know what to spend it on. Unless, maybe we should buy some more vehicles. Might as well disappoint ourselves some more, honestly. Doesn't that look good though? The 6x6 sitting next to the SVJ. That looks so sick. Man, that's clean. Alright, there's there's one more car that I think we're going to buy today. Actually, maybe two. Let's, uh, hmm, hmm. Let's get the Regera. I think, uh, I think the Regera... Could be a uh, could be a good vehicle. Its top speed is 120 kilometers an hour. The carbon fiber type on the car is uh, what we're changing here. Um, I think I kind of like that. Uh, the rim color, let's keep it black. The main color of the vehicle, how about some glossy carbon? Uh, actually, glossy carbon for the secondary color. For the primary though, we just did blue. So maybe we should go for like a green? Lime green? Honestly, I feel like it looks pretty good. Uh, for the interior color, let's go for red. And let's go for red. Let's go black and red. That's that's a bit better. Better of a look. Okay, the number plate, we can change it to... Let's do... Let's do... Let's just remove the plate altogether since we can. Might as well. Uh, the engine setup. Okay, so this so there's a slow setup and there's also a fast setup. This thing is going to cost us $325 a day. That's... Uh, it's not terrible, I guess. Uh, so we're definitely gonna go for the fast uh, setup, that's for sure. Uh, for the wheels, oh, we can change the rims. I like these rims better, I gotta say, so we'll go for that. I think that's it, boys. $2,092,200. This is the biggest purchase I've ever made in Farming Simulator right now. Let's do it. Whew. Hop in the new vehicle. Does this thing have an engine sound? Isn't the Regera all electric? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the Regera is all electric. Oh boy. Okay. Th this thing is actually pretty quick. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, yep. It's fast. The Regera. 
the cooker is quite quick. Uh, let's see the inside of this thing, actually. Woof. It's not bad looking. Could be a little better, but it's it's not bad, that's for sure. You gotta hand it to these modders, man. They make some crazy stuff. This is actually pretty sick. It's pretty impressive. Now, this thing we can actually probably get to go uh, pretty darn quick, I feel like. So, we're gonna, we're gonna have to try that. Let's take it down past the house, and then we will uh, speed down this road very, very quickly. Okay, we're already going 200. Okay, 230, 250. Oh my god, 295. Okay, all right, 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 all right. Okay, all right, let's give her. Let's see if we can hit 400. There's 100. There's 150. There is 200. Here comes 250. Here comes 300. 360. Oh my god. It's a good thing that cars don't really like take damage in this game because that would have been a catastrophic crash right there. This thing is ridiculously fast. You can actually equip it with a trailer hitch. I wonder if it could actually tow our trailer. Like, probably not. It probably wouldn't be very good at it at least. I kind of want to try though. But I didn't equip it with a trailer hitch. So, we're going to have to edit that. So, um... I guess we'll figure that out in a minute. Let's see, what happens if I, uh... What happens if I, like, can actually make it around this corner, but I've already got some speed? Can we hit 400? Let's see. I'm interested. Three eighty-four. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you can unfold the spoiler? That's crazy. Okay, um, let's, uh, let's put the car here, okay, uh, let's repair it, $46, nice, okay, um, and let's put the trailer hitch on, looks absolutely ridiculous, but let's do it, $0, that's, that's pretty cheap. Let's drive over to the farm and see if we can actually equip the trailer with this thing. All right, we're gonna do a big send down this straightaway. Oh yeah, all right. Okay, we're gonna have to unhitch that F-350. So let's get on here. Leave that there, leave that there. Put the F-350 like here, just for a second. Oh, this is gonna be this is going to be really stupid looking, I feel like. Okay, we got the trailer attached. Let's uh, let's see what we can do here. This thing's actually towing it decently well. I mean, it has 1,500 horsepower, so like I'm not that surprised, but I am impressed that this thing is, uh, is doing what it's doing, that's for sure. As it turns out, the Koenigsegg Regera makes great farm equipment. Uh, except, what's going on here? Why are we stuck? What if I kind of back up? Oh, there we go. Then we're going to take the Koenigsegg and we're actually going to go and sell the uh, sugar beets that uh, that we've produced here. As far as these episodes go, I think this was an alright one. We, uh, we definitely spent a lot of money, that's for sure. Um, okay, we're good. There we go. Oh yeah, this thing, you can definitely feel the, uh, feel the weight of that trailer. That is, that is quite full. Okay, to the grain mill we go. See if we make it there. I'm sure that we probably will. This car is ridiculously powerful, so... I can't believe this thing is actually towing this thing this easily, to be honest. Oh yikes, the Koenigsegg is not really meant for uh, this type of work, I don't think. Solid. 22 grand, it must have been selling for absolutely no money here. Oh well though, that's, that's, that's fine. Now that the trailer's empty, the Koenigsegg is really, uh, it's really got some power now. This is, this is crazy. Let's see how far we can launch this thing and the trailer. I'm interested. Oh my god. Yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Oh my god. Oh, oh, did I save it? Oh jeez. I can't believe we landed that. That's actually crazy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Holy. All right, let's go put the trailer back and uh, we're going to head over to the new house, I think. 
yeah i think we're just gonna maybe we'll just buy solar panels and then next episode next episode might be the finale honestly uh because i don't really know what to do on farming simulator anymore like it's it's kind of just done i feel like after like after the next episode after we buy you know a few a few more things there's not much left to do so I think, I think we're coming down to the end of the series here. I was planning on doing like 12 episodes, but honestly, I don't know what I can even do beyond what we're doing right now. Like, the game is kind of just, it's just getting a little old, I don't know. I hate to say it, because I've enjoyed this series a lot. Um, it's been really fun, but there's just not a lot to do in this game, unfortunately. So, well, we got the cars here. They look fantastic. Probably gonna see this in the thumbnail of the video, uh, whenever I make the thumbnail. So, let's uh, let's go buy eight million dollars worth of solar panels, I guess. Three. So we now have 83 solar panels, I do believe. That's uh, that's gonna be a substantial amount of money, I feel like. And let's see, let's see how much money we get paid per hour now. Now with all these solar panels. $67,548. Woo! We like doubled our money. Oh man, we more than doubled it. That's okay. Yeah, solar panels, uh, you, you make some pretty good money with those. Um, okay guys, well. We're now broke, so uh, I guess I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, the next episode is going to be the finale, so we're going to try to uh, try to buy a lot of stuff. Let's put it that way. So I will see you all in the next episode. Uh, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this episode or not. I'm sorry if it, it wasn't too much to do with farming, honestly. I, I know that, but uh, anyway... Let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new somehow. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.